Hello and good day. Presenting Motivational and inspirational quotes From one of the most loved pastors in the world, the late Reverend Billy Graham. Here are now 10 quotes 681 through 690. Let's get started with number 681. No matter what the climate is, what the troubles are, what the difficulties are, there is joy for the child of God, because joy is produced supernaturally by the Holy Spirit in us. Number 682. What is heaven? It's the home that God created and he possesses. His throne room is his headquarters from which he issues his commands, directions, and prophecies. And Jesus sits at his Father's right hand. Number 683. If we read the Bible as carefully and as regularly as we read the daily papers, we would be as familiar with and as well informed about God as we are about our favorite player's batting average during baseball season. Number 684. God takes the weak and makes them strong. He takes the vile and makes them clean. He takes the worthless and makes them worthwhile. He takes the sinful and makes them sinless. Number 685. We preach Christ crucified. The cross is the focal point in the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. It was no afterthought or emergency measure with God. Christ was the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Hashtag 686. Prayer is powerful. But if our prayers are aimless, meaningless, and mingled with doubt, they will be of little hope to us. Number 687. We are like a people under a sentence of death, waiting for the day to be set. We sense that something is about to happen. We know that things cannot go on as they are. History has reached an impasse. We are now on a collision course. Something is about to give. Number 688. Anger makes us lash out at others, destroying relationships and revealing our true nature. The history of the human race is largely the history of its anger. Number 689. Faith is loved and honored by God more than any other single thing. Number 690. As a young man, I sought thrills. I found them in Christ. I looked for something that would bring perfect joy. I found it in Christ. I looked for something that would bring pleasure and that would satisfy the deepest longing of my heart. I found it in Christ. And my life has never been the same. 